There are things that they don't tell you about. Taking the leap of faith with God is a real dirty process, right? It's not this crazy, like, oh, snap, I took a leap of faith and everything just worked out magically. That's not That's not what that is. And you need to hear from someone who did it. And I mean, like, did it for real. That way you know exactly what to expect when, it's, when you do this leap. It's not for everybody. Not everybody is meant to go down this route. That's why God said many are called, few are chosen. You feel me? I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how that stuff goes, right? So number one, when you take your leap of faith, you're going to have that life high, like that faith high. Like, oh man, everything is great. Let's just say, for example, you have a job that you really, really hate and God says you need to quit. You ain't got no backup plan, but you got a dream. You quit the job. Bro, before you quit that little couple of weeks before you end it, you high on life. You like, I am going to be doing everything. I, the sky is the limit, bro. The sky is the limit. But it get real greasy after that. Number two is you're going to go to the battle stage next. Yeah, the battle stage. The battle stage is all the demons. Your past demons, your present demons, other demons that people brought to you, you're going to have to face all of it. This is that tug of war that you have where you're like, God, I, I'm looking for you, but I don't understand, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm fighting this. I'm fighting that. I don't think you got my back, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you're real no more, blah, blah, blah. I'm dealing with this, blah, blah, blah. It's a tug of war battle. And all the demons you have to face there. And demons love crumbs. So if you leave any little bit for them to have, boom, they coming. This is that point where you see a lot of prophets and prophetess tell you about delays. It usually happen in this process. This is only step two. It's only step two. That, that process of delay is because you was in here fighting and then you try to take things into your own hands. And then God, when he was going to give you the blessing... Since you took it and you took it into your own hands, he now has to redirect it. He now has to reorchestrate everything because you let these demons persuade you to make moves. You don't really trust God for real. That's that stage. Number three, after the battle is done. Now, that don't mean the demon's not going to come. It's just at step three, they, you see them for what they are. They're not as big as you think that they are. They're little, little bitty tiny beings that make a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? They don't really phase you. You know, you smack them and they cry and they leave and they don't have that hold on you anymore. But on stage three, it's the... This is the stage where a lot of God people fall off. It's because... This is now the waiting season. This is the season where you're waiting, like you're just kind of weighing in the water. You know what I'm saying? Patience is being built up. You don't know what's going to happen. You can't see what's around the corner. God just kind of has you in that patient stage. You know, you in calm seas. You know what I'm saying? But being in that patient stage, you get anxious you want to see what's next you want to know what's next and you feel like god is not answering you this is that point where he's like quiet because what builds patience i mean what builds faith patience right you have to be patient and wait for god to say a thing because god don't move on your time you don't know what's going on behind the scenes so in that stage you're building the patience and then the last stage is acceptance in the patient stage, you're going to be learning a lot of things. But in the acceptance stage, that's when you gain in your wisdom. That's where you're learning your, your, your word. You, you, you have accepted Jesus. You have figured out how God works, his characteristics, and he has given you a superpower of discernment and knowing his ways. So you can listen to anything and you can point out a wolf in sheep's clothing. You see what I'm saying? That acceptance stage is even though you free fall and even though you can see the ground there and God ain't did nothing, you are right with it. God done done enough. You done seen him. He done proved himself way too many times. You've accepted the fact that you and God like this. And that's when y'all walking hand in hand together. It don't matter about successes, failures, nothing. Nothing matters. The world doesn't matter anymore. All the bills and shit like that, 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 that stuff doesn't matter anymore.
You're going to sin, yes. You're going to make mistakes. But you know that God is going to give you specifically. Bro, you have mercy. Mercy follows you forever when you're in that acceptance stage. That's the stage that you want to get to. That's the point where people don't understand. You walk into rooms and, and things just light up. You, you have no idea what's going on. You just accept it. you just like, man, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what you're talking about. I don't know about all the energy stuff you're talking about. All I know is me and God like this. So when you accept him and you accept everything that it come with, struggles and victories, bro, <sighs> everything was worth it just to get there just to get there it don't matter about addictions losses any of that because you know that this life this vehicle that you in is temporary and what God has on the other side is beyond what you can fathom you see what I'm saying you don't even care about your own personal things anymore you you too busy worried about you're not really worried at all you just kind of just lighten stuff up, you know, people coming past you, you know, who never had a positive thing happen before in their life, and you just lighten them up, you know, God is using you, you have that, that thing that people can't grasp onto when they're of the world, you know what I'm saying, it's a different game, it's a different, and that's why I call it the monster games, because, man, it's one monstrous game, it's one monstrous game, so before you take that leap of faith, just know that that life high, that faith high in the very beginning is going to drain. It's not a process where you just take the leap and everything just works out perfectly. No, God going to take you through the, through the trenches so you can see that he will sustain you through the trenches, through the trenches. You have people who are so impatient and they want it to all work out. That ain't how God works. They don't know God like that. They too busy worried about the world. When you get to that last stage, you ain't gonna even know how to explain it for people. You know what I'm saying? But this is the best way that I can do it for you. Before you go and take that leap, man, just know it's a monster game.